Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. How are you? I hope you are doing well. In this reading, I want to cover all the energies for December mid-month. I want to cover what is the good thing coming towards you. I will talk about the person that is currently on your mind as well and other details. Keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with all of you. If it does, there is an extended at the end of this video. You can find it in the description box below. Always take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Let's continue. First, let's shuffle the deck four times for you. Let's start with what is the overall energy for this reading, Page of Wands. There's a new beginning here happening for you. There seems like a communication here fr uh, coming from a fire sign possibly. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, I'm getting communication from a past person that was lying to you or cheating or was not that honest. And they seem very determined. They have been stubborn with you. Now they want to talk. Let's see about what is affecting you right now in your subconscious. You're at crossroads. You need to make a decision about what to do next. I think that you still may want a repeated connection with this person, but you want a better version of it. You know that you don't like the same old problematic energy of that connection of the past. But it's difficult to release it completely. You had invested so much there. You put lots of efforts, energy, expectations, especially. But what was the main challenge? Queen of Wands. A person that showed you attraction towards you, affection, passion, intensity. Uh, they may have been very bold in the beginning. And you believe this was the one. You thought this was the love. But with the king of one, queen of ones, with the queen of ones being in the position of the challenge, it tells me that this energy was not very consistent. Not a very reliable person and possibly a manipulator. And here it is, Seven of Swords here that is connected to that Queen of Wands in the challenge of the past. But how do you view the situation with them? The Empress, you want to grow this to something better, in fact, and you hope that there will be a happy, good, harmonious connection with this person. Your love is there. You think this can grow to something better if some things are changed there, some minor or big differences are made, and for that you need to both talk about that. But let's see why the Empress, Three of Cups, again, you want to reunite with this person. Your love is still there. Your expectations are still there. Now, what you want to avoid is too much time off from this situation, like not connecting, being distanced, not talking. That is something you don't like. You don't like the stagnancy, but at the same time you fear that if you took action, they will not be interested or they will reject or just ignore the message. You have a fear that they may have lost interest. What about the current energies? Three of Swords. You seem to be deeply hurt from all this. You are waiting for an apology. You do miss this person even though they hurt you a lot. 
And with that Empress card here, I see your feelings being really deep, powerful and true. Because it couldn't make any sense that they broke your heart like that, unfortunately, and you're still there trying to mend it. Something they did wrong. It was not your fault. Let's clarify Three of Swords. For some of you, it may have been a third party situation. Yes, you do think a lot about that painful ending. It consumes you, especially at night. Maybe sometimes you are very sleepless thinking about this. What is the advice for you towards this energy? You need more time to be healed from all this. Yes, keep up the high spirit. Your wishes will be fulfilled. But your wishes with the right partner. I think you will get healed and will be much more happier in the near future. But you just keep doing this, waiting, not taking action, I think. You need more time to heal and see things more clearly. Let's see what is a good thing coming towards you. Two of Wands, you will have options. That is the good thing. Now, okay, you will have options, lots of options. One of those options is a Ten of Pentacles. Has the potential to be long-term and stable and very, very solid. You can build an empire, a legacy with this person. But you need to choose carefully. And I believe you will, at, at least for this month and the next month, I believe you will take things slowly towards uh, jumping into a connection because you want more of a solid connection, something that feels more secure and stable. With that Knight of Pentacles, I see you having lots of, uh, uh, getting lots of attention, having lots of options, you having the power to choose and there are many great opportunities here just be aware of that but it is not that you have healed completely for some it takes longer and the much more deeply involved you have been and I think you have been with that Empress card there that's why it is taking a little bit more you seem a bit guarded towards a new connection, having some trust issues or fearing the other person will hurt you the same. You have a very good energy, in fact. You want to give and make your next connection be harmonious. You want it to be long-term and happy. And that's why you're guarded. Because you know that when you offered all those gifts to the wrong partner, unfortunately, they got advantage of it. And you were left with the pain. I think this, this will be a, a stepping stone for you. And when you will look back a little bit later, you will see that this needed to happen in order for you to choose that much more brighter, enjoyable and happier uh, path. I think you will be long term with a person that seems quite promising. Ten of Pentacles. Stability is there, maturity is there. It is strong as a connection. But you need just a little bit more time to heal completely, I think. And you need to be more aware, to be more open to these new opportunities. You don't need to rush into a serious connection immediately or see things from that perspective. Because if you can look at this this other way, uh, you may have expectations about someone and imagine getting married to them and then after two or three dates, everything changes when you get to know them better. So I think with that kind of spirit, like getting to know the other person more and then 
deciding along the way while keeping those uh, intentions and ideas strong about long-term uh, stability in your mind, you can get to know new people. And because I, I see you having options, but you have to take opportunities here and to be more more uh, receiving towards those energies. That's, that's what I'm getting. But anyway... Uh, if this reading resonated with you, I will continue this with more details in the extended. You can find it now. It is in the description box below. I want to view more of the energies of this person that is on your mind. Maybe you have will have there more clarity and more details. I want to see an advice for you as well for this good energy that is coming towards you. For those options. Lots of options that are there for you. And uh, yes, let's see what advice can we get there. If interested, the extended is in the description box below. Thank you for watching. See you the next reading. And bye for now.